Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I am bringing you guys an Outbreak Challenges guide. Now Outbreak was released with the start of Season 2, which was earlier today if you're watching at the date of recording, and that means there's some brand new challenges which are available on this map. In this mode you are tasked to complete an objective per difficulty mode that you are on, and in order to progress to the next difficulty mode you must complete this main challenge. In the brand new Outbreak mode there are four different challenges which you can get. You can get the Eliminate Your Opponent Challenge, the Escort Challenge, the Holdout Challenge, and the defend the analyzer challenge so I'm going to explain to you guys what the best tips and tricks for each of these ones are as we go along as well as explaining what each one entails so starting off with holdout holdout is where you activate a aether portal and it takes you to a certain building on the map this building will then have purple aether windows you are in the dark aether for this mode and you must defend yourselves for a certain amount of time which is set on the left hand side of the screen under the mini map there telling you how much time you must remain for now there are three main waves of enemies in this first wave is fairly easy but obviously depending on the difficulty this does scale but generally the zombies are slower very easy to kill on this first wave second wave there is more and boss zombies can spawn and on the third wave of them there is a lot more boss zombies a lot of hellhounds and plague hounds as well as lots of regular and armored zombies involved it's quite a hectic challenge but it's definitely been a lot of fun when me and my team have tried this out and it's been an excellent one to try out in different locations around the map now some of these locations do have ammo boxes but my best tip for this would always be to fill up ammo before you do a holdout challenge as not all of the locations do have ammo. The ones that do you're extra lucky and if you do for whatever reason run out before you get in there you can fill up but most of them don't so make sure you fill up both of your weapons before you head into this challenge. Also try and get some sort of wonder weapon either the ray gun or the shockwave machine if you can before heading into this particularly if you're on difficulty 3 or 4 or above as these rooms are going to get very very hectic. Moving on to the second objective that you can get in the new outbreak mode which is the escort challenge this one is where the new skill perk comes in very very useful okay so the new perk attracts zombies towards you and obviously when you level it up this can get some perks when this happens and a lot of players have wondered why you would want that to happen well these challenges are the reason for that so this new perk is fantastic for the escort challenge as you can lure zombies away from the cart but you're just going to want to make sure that the pathway is clear for these you can run around and the zombies will chase you and if any of them hit the cart at any point just make sure that you're shooting at those ones to get them off the cart as quick as possible and get that moving again once it starts moving it carries on for quite a while and just needs to get to a few locations where an aether portal is and it can access this so the top tips so for this one like I said is use the new perk skill perk if you can which lures the zombies towards you that really does help if you've got any decoy or monkey grenades they are fantastic for this one and also just shoot a load of zombies and run around and also use your lethal grenades to clear the car if it does get stuck on a big group of them next moving on to defending the analyzer now this one is a very interesting one you have to pop a turn token which is a zombie head into an analyzer and wait for it to finish scanning now this one requires you to defend a certain location so again monkey bombs and decoy grenades are going to be fantastic it's fairly straightforward you've just got to stop the zombies from hitting it like you did on firebase Z when you activate the power plants it's kind of a similar thing to that one so you've just got to defend it from zombies which are going to be attacking that point now again monkeys decoys are fantastic for this the new skill perk again fantastic for this one as well as just getting any kill streaks you've got some napalm strikes cluster strike sentry guns death machines anything like that anything that's good at getting a lot of kills quickly is going to be very very good for this one so ring of fire is also very very useful moving on to the fourth and final one here this is the eliminate your target one now this one requires you to take out a very heavily armored zombie that does not take a lot of damage whatsoever this is probably one of the harder challenges particularly when you get to the higher rounds on difficulties four or five plus this becomes very very difficult if you haven't got level three pack a punch weapons or at least a couple of wonder weapons between you for this one you will activate a radar dish and it will spawn in this heavily armored zombie you've simply got to kill this zombie but what happens is every time you get rid of a third of its health it will teleport to a new location so once you reduce the zombies main health by a third it then teleports somewhere else and so on after another third and the final third then stays where it is for the third location there the idea is to kill this one as quick as possible as it does have a timer again and for this one you're going to definitely want someone rocking ring of fire ring of fire is very very good for this task it can get it done very very quickly but bear in mind because you are changing locations you can't use it on each of the rotations so you're going to want something that's going to do a lot of damage again here the death machine and other kill streaks such as the attack 
Black Chopper are very, very good on this one, particularly when it changes locations. You're able to use Ring of Fire for one, for example, and then use a kill streak for another. And also the new perk to get rid of the rest of the zombies to a different player while somebody else can focus the main boss is also very, very good here. There's lots of different ways of doing it, as well as using vehicles to try and kill this enemy we've tried, and they do work to a certain extent, but again, going to the higher levels, it just has too much HP, so the vehicles are not as effective. But that is all of the challenges that you can come across in the new Outbreak mode, and hopefully this is giving you some insight and tips as to what to run on your class, how to defeat these challenges, and hopefully get you to a brand new personal best of difficulty on this mode. Let me know down below in the comments what your personal best currently is on Outbreak. I've got to difficulty 6, and the game unfortunately then did glitch, but we're going to go again and try and get up to maybe 8 or 10, and see how we can get on with that. Let me know down in the comments what you guys have got so far. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below. We're pushing for 150 subs. Very, very close to that now, so it would be much appreciated if you'd help me out. And don't forget to drop a like if you did find this video helpful. Thank you very much. Take care and peace.